What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2002 Chevy Silverado, and I'm gonna use it to point out to you the location of some important uh, fuses and the relay for the operation of the starter. So to start, we're gonna head under the hood. There's gonna be two main fuses as well as a relay here. So pop this open. We're looking inside of the electrical center here, and the two fuses for you to check, it's gonna be ignition A. That's the huge 40 amp fuse right there and the ignition, uh, the ignition C. So A, you pull out, it's pretty simple. This mammoth fuse here, it will come out, you've just gotta mess with it. This fuse is what actually gives power to the starter relay. And the starter relay is that one right there. So that gets triggered when the ignition switch is turned to the start position. And if you suspect that the starter relay is bad, you can try tapping on it, or you can swap it with your headlight relay. If after swapping it, your headlight relay um, makes the car start, but your headlights stop working, then you know the relay was the problem. So that's the ignition A. As far as the ignition C, that is gonna be this much smaller 20 amp fuse right here. So let's pop that out. You can see it's intact. Now the role of this fuse is to pass power through it to the ignition switch. Now the ignition switch, when you turn this all the way to the start position, if it's operational, it will pass power through it to your crank relay, which is gonna be a 10 amp, um, sorry, the crank fuse, which is a 10 amp fuse right there. So that fuse gets hot when you turn the key to the start position. Now I'll demonstrate here, if I pull that fuse out, so the fuse has been removed, it's not starting. When I put this back in, it will start, and you can actually use this fuse to test your ignition switch, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you how I'm doing that here. So I'm tied in, I've got battery positive here. I'm routing it through my voltmeter. I've got it set up to pass power through it. So this is hot. I'm gonna drop this down. Be careful not to touch it on anything that's ground. And if I manually power, it will actually crank the vehicle. Now if you manually power that fuse and the engine still does not crank, you may have an issue with your transmission range switch. Uh, that's basically a safety device. It passes power through it if it detects that your truck is in park or in neutral. It prevents you from trying to start the truck when you're in drive or reverse. Um, what you can do to te test that out, you can try putting the truck in neutral, uh, trying to start it in that position. And uh, basically, if that switch is working properly, it will pass the power through it to your starter relay right there again. So that's about it. You know, you're going to want to check your 40 amp there, your 20 amp right there. You could tap on that relay or swap it. And you'll also want to check your crank relay or sorry, your crank fuse, which is right there. And you can try putting power on that fuse directly. That basically bypasses your ignition switch. So yeah. I hope this was helpful. Uh, there's some spare fuses on the back there. Let me know if you guys have any questions or more importantly, any advice about troubleshooting the starter on your Chevy Silverado.